Hey everybody, welcome. Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars in Seattle for yet another pick of the day. Check this out. Who likes gold tops? So what I got here is a 1973 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe that has been changed a little bit. I'll go over those changes with you. But as you can see, a very vibey, well-worn, well-played Gibson gold top. We all love the gold tops, don't we? So this guy here, interesting case. Guy who I got this from, believed this was a 68 or 69 Les Paul based on the information he was given and some of the appointments on it. But once we got a really close look at this guitar, we came to the conclusion that it was indeed an early 70s based on the serial number. And the pot codes are 73. So it falls right in there to that era. However, if you look at this guitar, there is no volute. And that's really the first thing we look at because we know that the some of the 60s serial numbers cross over with the 70s one. So you'll see these guys, they think they have a 68, 69, Les Paul. First thing you do, has a volute, you know it's a 70s. This serial number is either a 63 or an early 70s. So we knew it wasn't a 68 or 69. And upon further investigation, we decided that the neck had been shaved a little bit and refinished. So when they shave the neck, they shave the volute off. I don't know if anybody was trying to deceive anybody or, or they just wanted a slimmer neck, more of a profile of that era. But that's what's going on with this guitar. Also has showers on it, which as we all know are, are great tuners, German made tuners. A lot of guys put those on their guitars. It also has the wafer body, which you do see sometimes in 69, as early as 69, but everything else points to a 1973. So, Flip it over here, and we have a new nut and a refret on it, which are both very nicely done. This guitar plays like a beast, it's awesome. And then if you look here, you notice that it has mini humbuckers, and these are actually 1959 PAF mini humbuckers that were probably in one of the old Kalamazoo Epiphones from that era. They sound killer on this, man. They got that mid-range, nasally kind of sound to them that is incredible. And you're gonna find out when you hear Aaron Hebert play this through this pre-owned 57 twin amp. So this beauty here is one of their, their custom reissues, and it's a point-to-point -point wired amplifier with two Alnico Magnet uh, Jensen speakers in it, two 12s. It's got two 5U4 rectifier tubes in it, a pair of twin 6L6s, so it's a remake of the low-power twin a solid pine cab, so it's just top-notch quality all the way. This one comes with a cover, it comes with the owner's manual, and even a little cardboard deal up here that tells you all the information on this amplifier that you'll need. But back to the guitar. So you have original knobs, you have original pit guard, all the parts on this are right. If you look at the headstock here, the face of it, it's been sanded down around the black paint on here that says Les Paul model and Gibson still has the deluxe truss rod cover on it. I think possibly when they refinished the neck and shaved it, they also shaved the headstock a little bit because it is a little smaller and it almost fits into that 68 mode when you look at the size of that headstock. So, you know, somebody's project, it turned out great. I mean, no breaks, never been fractured, but just a, a unique 73 gold top. Of course, the 59 PAF mini humbuckers aside, there was no routing done. P90s fit right in that same hole. So yeah, she's ready to go, man. Comes with a nice hard shell case here. Looks to me like maybe a later 70s uh, Les Paul case. Very good condition and houses this guitar very functionally. So without further delay, I'm gonna have Erin plug this guitar into this 57 reissue twin amp and we'll see how she sounds.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, a very unique 1973 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top with 59 PAF mini humbuckers in it through a pre-owned Fender reissue 57 Tweed Twin Amp. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time.